Around the globe, there are several million farmers. Yet, is there enough food to go round for all people in the world? The world's population is growing. But today, at a global level, agriculture is currently producing one-third more calories than necessary to feed all the people in the world. That means, in principle, there is enough food for everybody. Nevertheless, one person in nine goes to bed hungry. Worldwide, there are still 800 million people going hungry. But why are so many people going hungry? Because this is not only about the global production level, it is also about making food available, accessible and usable for everybody at all times. If you do not have access to land or enough water, you cannot feed yourself and your family. If you don't have enough money, you cannot buy sufficient food. If due to bad sanitation you fall sick with diarrhea, you can eat as much as you like. The food never reaches your body. Those are just some of the factors which have an impact on whether the foods produced end up on the table and can be absorbed by the body. And this is about more than just chronic hunger. But why is a filled stomach not enough? How much food a person has at their disposal is not the only thing that matters. What's relevant is what he or she eats. More than two billion people worldwide suffer from vitamin and mineral deficiencies. Their nutrition is too imbalanced and therefore does not contain all important nutrients. This quickly turns into a vicious circle. Mothers with poor nutrition give birth to weak babies who are more susceptible to diseases. The result? In school they find it hard to concentrate. They also have fewer opportunities on the job market and earn less money. If this is a mass phenomenon, the impact is felt in the entire national economy and malnutrition is further increasing. Is there any way out of this vicious circle? Yes, it is important to promote local agriculture. Farmers, and in particular women, need, for instance, access to fertile land, water and seeds, to markets, to education and loans. Governments need to invest in, for instance, roads, schools, sustainable water management, sanitary installations and a functioning financial system. Living and working in the countryside needs to be attractive. This means that leaving to another town or abroad will no longer seem like the only option for many millions of people. And what is the German government doing to secure food and nutrition for people worldwide? The human right to adequate food obliges states to build an enabling environment for people to be free from hunger and malnutrition. The German government supports the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, and other UN bodies in their work to progressively realize the right to food. The FAO draws up internationally accepted frameworks and standards for food security and nutrition and provides policy advice to governments, for instance, on legal safeguards for access to land, on strengthening responsible investments, on empowering women and on improving market access. All around the world, Germany promotes FAO pilot projects, school gardens in Afghanistan, nutrition education and soil preserving cultivation methods in Africa and adult vocational training for farmers on business management issues. And what can I do as an individual? So many questions remain. What action is taken against land grabbing? Why are cereals traded on the stock market? And why are more and more people in poor countries overweight? Our brochure has answers.